In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the AIM-9 Sidewinder short-range infrared guided air-to-air -air missile and your radar 4 and VS auto acquisition modes, which are useful in close combat. The Sidewinder is fire and forget, meaning the launch aircraft doesn't need to maintain a lock after launching. The Sidewinder's infrared seeker locks onto hot elements of a target, typically the engines. Because of this, it's more effective when you're engaging a target from its rear than head-on. The Sidewinder can be decoyed by flares and is less effective against ground clutter. The Sidewinder can lock onto targets using just its own seeker or with the assistance of a radar lock. The F-15 can carry up to four Sidewinders on its wing pylons. They currently have the lesson paused. To use the AIM-9's infrared seeker to lock onto targets, press 6. Do this now. The growling sound means that your Sidewinder is actively looking for a target. Its seeker is currently caged, meaning that it is fixed straight ahead. The larger circle, or reticle, on the HUD indicates the field of view of the seeker. When a target is within the reticle and the seeker has enough thermal contrast from the background, the seeker tone will change to a higher pitch and the lock shoot lights on the canopy frame will illuminate, indicating the seeker is tracking the target. If the target strays outside the reticle, you will lose the lock. This mode is useful in locking onto specific targets in a tight group. You can switch between cage and uncage by pressing 6. Do this now to uncage the seeker. The word scan is now boxed in the lower left of the MPCD, indicating the seeker is currently uncaged. The larger reticle on the HUD represents the missile's field of view, and the smaller one is where the seeker is currently looking as it scans around. When the missile seeker locks a target, the outer reticle will disappear, and the smaller one will follow the target within the seeker's gimbal limits. A high-pitched lock tone will sound to indicate a lock. Detecting and locking a target with the missile seeker is a good way to surprise an enemy, since, with your radars off, their RWR won't warn them of your presence. However, with only the missile's IR seeker, you don't have as much targeting information, such as range, closure rate, etc., and your detection ranges are limited. To remedy this, you can use your radar, and the Sidewinder seeker will automatically be directed towards a locked radar target. The radar has auto acquisition modes, which are handy for close combat situations. First, we'll look at vertical scan mode. Enter vertical scan mode by pressing 3 now. When you enter an auto acquisition mode, the radar will activate automatically. In vertical scan VS mode, instead of moving side to side, the radar now scans up and down from roughly straight ahead to 55 degrees above your nose. The width of the scan zone is 7.5 degrees. A vertical line is displayed on the HUD to help you align your target with the radar's field of view. In this mode, you will automatically lock onto the first target detected in this zone within 10 miles range. Vertical scan mode is handy during dogfights, since when you're pulling into a turn to place the nose on a bandit, the bandit will be above your nose. When you have a target locked, you can unlock a target and return to vertical scan by pressing enter. Next, enter boresight mode by pressing 4. Boresight, or, is similar to vertical scan mode, except the radar scans only a 4 degree cone straight ahead, indicated by the circle on the HUD. This mode is useful for quickly locking a specific target, for example, one aircraft in a formation, within visual range. Go ahead and press 6 to switch back to using the missile seeker alone for now. When you're ready, press the spacebar and I will unpause the mission. You now have two targets ahead of you. Let's shoot down just one of them for now. Fly to place the reticle over one of them until you hear the high-pitched lock tone. You can either launch an AIM-9 now by shooting the weapon release button shoot. right out space, shoot. or initiate a self-track by uncaging the seeker by pressing 6 again. Once you're self-tracking, launch a missile. If your missile doesn't hit, try again with another. Nice hit. Now try using an auto acquisition radar mode to lock onto the second target. Shoot! Shoot! Press either 3 to enter vertical scan mode or 4 to enter boresight mode. Shoot! And fly to place a shot on the radar field of view and select a mode. As long as you're within 10 miles, the radar will automatically lock onto the target. Press the spacebar once you have a radar lock on the target. Shoot! Shoot! This concludes this training lesson. I've activated two additional targets over the town of Sochi at waypoint 2 if you'd like to practice further, or press escape to end the lesson now.
Escape to end the mission now. 